Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm coming at you with some flat crunchy curls and this is on purpose. This is my day three hair that I refreshed this morning and I used a stronghold gel to get a cast because that's what I need to try today's new product, which is a brand new shine oil from the one and only Curlsmith. Today's video is sponsored by Curlsmith because you know I gotta try everything that they create basically. And I'm really excited to try this because I'm already a super fan of their bonding oil, which is different than the shine oil. So today we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna let you know which one is going to be best for your hair, your curl type, your texture, your porosity, all that jazz. So let's see how this goes because this is already my favorite oil. So it's gonna be kind of hard to beat her. Good luck. So here are the two bottles, both very cute, elegant, very sleek and like luxurious. They are both two fluid ounces, 60 milliliters. But the main difference between the two is that the new Shine Oil is fragrance free. One of my favorite things about the bonding oil is the scent because it just smells so good and I would literally wear this instead of perfume. But I understand that many of you have a sensitive nose or allergies or just don't like to use fragrances in general. So this one is for you. And I noticed that that was gonna be an issue when I did the Shine line review and I did a whole bunch of fragrance free products but then I ended it off with my fragrance oil and I messed up the whole fragrance free thing. If you do want to keep your entire hair routine fragrance free you can with the Shine fragrance free line by Curlsmith and not ending it off with this oil instead of the bonding oil. So if you prefer fragrance free get the Shine oil. The bonding oil is the oil that you're gonna choose if you need something to actually like work and kind of repair your hair. As you can see from the boxes, the bonding oil is purple, like the rest of the Strength collection. And then the Shine, kind of hard to see, is white, just like the Fragrance Free Shine line. So anytime you see this purple on a Curlsmith bottle, it's part of the Strength Collection, meaning there is protein. And protein is often used to restore and repair your hair. So if you need some protein in your hair, you have a lot of split ends that you're trying to fix and seal, then you're gonna go for the bonding oil. If you're protein sensitive and you don't need any protein, your hair is rather healthy, you don't have much damage to repair, you can go ahead and just get the shine oil. So let's stop talking and actually try the oil. So this is gonna be like a first impression situation. I already see that this has a dropper where the bonding oil has a pump. There's a difference right there. So I'm gonna add just a couple drops to my hand. Smoothing it, oh, very, very lightweight. No scent. So as you can see, my curls are pretty stiff and crunchy. I'm gonna use this to break the gel cast to create more volume. Smoothing it down for that shine. Oh, okay, shine, I see you. I did already use uh, Refresh with the Shine Stronghold Gel today. So this is shine on top of shine. And I'm going to scrunch it and break the cast. It feels very lightweight as it claims, which is very big for me because I have low porosity and fine hair. So before this Curlsmith oil, y'all know I never used oils. It was not part of my routine because a lot of oils I either did not like the scent or it was so thick and greasy that it made my hair just feel greasy and weighed down. Both of these Curlsmith oils are very lightweight, so you don't have to worry about that if you have fine or low porosity hair. But both of these oils can work for all hair types, but if you had to choose between the two, if you have high porosity hair, I'd go with the bonding oil instead of the shine oil. But you could use either or if you want that fragrance free option. Wow you really can see the shine. So the great thing about the shine oil is that it instantly absorbs into your hair, which is good for me because I have low porosity hair. It's kind of hard for products to fully penetrate sometimes because our hair shaft is so closed. So now it easily absorbs into my hair without weighing it down and locks in that moisture to help prevent dryness and frizz. So it's making my hair very soft and extra smooth. The crunch is basically gone can give me a more fluffy look as I stretch it out. 
So like all Curlsmith products, this oil is sulfate, paraben, silicone free and vegan and cruelty free. The key ingredient in here is a plant silk, which will outperform silicone while also being lighter than raw oil. So a lot of oils, which is another reason why I didn't really use them before, contain silicone because silicone will instantly give you that shine look, but it's kind of just like a coating on top of your hair. But this is a much better shine coating because it's naturally derived and it's easy to rinse out. Some of the key ingredients are watermelon seed oil, sea buckthorn oil, murumuru butter, which is like my favorite new ingredient in the shine collection in general. That stuff just like really adds shine to your hair and babasu oil. So this blend helps make the shine and make your hair look extra glossy. The shine oil is best used on dry hair like I'm doing now. You can use it on day one or day seven, doesn't matter. But it's really great if you want to scrunch out the cast from a stronghold gel. Now let me do this other side with the bonding oil. I'm gonna do two pumps. This one, I guess it feels a little bit thicker, but that's not even like the right word. It's like barely thicker. It's still very lightweight. But that smell though, it smells so good. <laughs> but to all of you that do not like fragrance, we got an option for you as well. I'm just like, it's just, I would literally wear this scent as a perfume. So it's, I'm just a super fan, that's all. This oil also locks in moisture, seals in your cuticles, helps prevent frizz, dryness, softens that gel cast, but it is enriched with protein, which will strengthen your hair and make it more elastic. So if you have damaged hair from color or heat, use this one. If you don't have any damage, like me, I can get away with using either or. Oh, the curls are shining. Like this is day three hair, people. You know how dry your hair can get throughout the week. So the fact that I'm still this shiny three days in says a lot. Now the bonding oil also is made from plant silk. It has a vegan keratin, castor oil, sea buckthorn oil as well, and apricot kernel. So the two main oil differences are apricot in the bonding oil and watermelon in the shine oil. Okay, so let me just keep scrunching, fluffing it out. I kind of want to get rid of all of my hold because you guys know I'm a, I'm a fan. All right, now that I'm all scrunched and fluffed, here's the final look. And that's why it's so important to scrunch out the cast if you want more volume. So, which side do we like better? They're pretty similar, which I'm glad because I don't want there to be really like a much better option for fragrance versus non-fragrance because some of you just can't do fragrance. So you should get something comparable that's just as good. So I'm happy about that. If I had to choose just from looking at my curls, what does this curl do? Can you pick a side, sir? I might say, okay, I'm looking at like, it's like a rotated flip. So what side is this? Oh, the shine side. Interesting. I might be noticing a tad bit, tad bit more shine on the shine side. Like these, these two are just showing out. But at the end of the day, it's, that's me like really reaching, trying to pick a side. So at the end of the day, it really just comes down to your hair needs. Both oils are the same size. One has fragrance, one doesn't. One has protein, one doesn't. Shop accordingly. If you plan on doing any Curlsmith shopping, make sure you do so by the end of this month. Because if you spend $30 or more, you actually can get a free two ounce mini bottle of the shine oil if you want to give it a try first or do a little comparison for yourself to the bonding oil if you already have it. If it is your first time shopping on curlsmith.com, make sure you use my promo code Bianca10 to give you 10% off your order. But speaking of shine, there's one more shiny thing that Curlsmith has created their own satin pillowcase. It's so shiny, it's blinding my camera. It's all blown out, you can't even see it. Right here in the corner, it says Curlsmith. It's this beautiful white pearl color. And as I've said over and over and over again in almost every video I've ever made, if you have curly hair, you need to be sleeping on a satin pillowcase. This one is considered vegan silk because it's not made for many silkworms. It's 100% polyester alternative to silk. So if you want a vegan friendly way to protect your curls at night, add this Curlsmith pillow to your cart. 
Sleeping on a satin pillowcase will allow your curls to slide across the pillow, won't create any frizz, making it much easier to refresh your curls the next day. Anytime I forget my satin pillowcase when I go on vacation, my curls pay for it in the morning and I notice a noticeable difference if I sleep on a cotton pillowcase or satin. So the hype is real. Get you one, it's good for your skin and your curls. But now that you've learned about both of the Curlsmith oils, which one is best for you? Comment below so I know what kind of curls or hair type you have. And let me know if you notice a difference. Like what side do you like better? Do you like fragrance free? Does your hair like protein? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.